So now we've taken your photos, you want to process them, so insert your card into your computer and click start. Go to computer, find the drive that your card is on, mine's G drive, yours might be F or D. Find where your images are and scroll down to whichever image you want to have a look at. Being raw, they may not show up here, so you have to scroll through and open them all in PaintShop Pro in some cases. I'm not going to do that. I'll open this one now and it will open in PaintShop Pro's Raw Photo Lab. Once it's opened in that, I go straight to edit and I edit the photo in PaintShop Pro itself. I don't like the Raw Photo Lab, I, I don't think it's necessary. So we go down to the bottom and you click edit. That will open the photo up in PaintShop Pro. Once it's opened up, up the top you'll see a button that says Enhance Photo. Scroll down to Smart Photo Fix. And what it will do is it bring up a screen that has your brightness, your saturation, your blacks and whites, and you can adjust from there. So what we'll do here is a bit bright, so we'll just take a bit of brightness out of it. It needs more shadow. And it needs the highlights brought down because up here, notice this area here, it's blowing out. That's what's known as blowing out. So we'll bring that highlights down a bit to try and just dull that down. That's a bit better. Go a bit more. Now we'll bring our saturation up to get colour into the photo. I want that green to come out. Now there it is there. That's pretty good. With focus, I always bring it all the way up. Another process we do later on will fix that. What that does is just really brings everything into focus. Blacks, I'll drop the blacks a little bit to see what it does. And sometimes you might have to go back the other way and add more black. That's good. I like that. This here, you can't do a lot about it. It's too blown out. So we'll just OK that. And there's your image. Once you've done that, click Enhance Photo and go down to Local Tone Mapping. Once it opens, and see the quality. It just brings everything out. It brings all that light out. It fixed this up here a little bit. It did well there. So we'll just leave it at that. You can adjust that if you wish. And we'll go down to High Pass Sharpen, which will sharpen all the leaves and the edges and all the edges of the rocks, make it just look more in focus. And I'm happy with that. So we'll go there, we'll go Enhance Photo. Once more, we'll go down to our white balance this time. And with our white balance, what we're going to try and do is just get that green looking more green. See if we can get that heat out of it a bit. The photo's too hot. That's it. So we'll OK that. The last step is one step noise removal. Even though you can't see noise in there, it's there. You click that, it will remove any noise that's in the photo, any speckling that's in the photo. It takes a bit of while, a bit of time, because it's a big image. And I'm happy with that. If you're not happy with it, up here, you'll see your undo button. That's this one up here. Just undo it. That'll take it back to what it originally was. Do it again to make sure. Undo it. I'm going to leave it undone. I'm not going to focus it. 
that's it. That's basically processed the image. So then you just want to save as. Go to where your photos are. Now in mine, I keep all my photos on my desktop. I make up individual years. In those individual years, I make individual months. In those individual months, And so now your photo is processed, what we want to do is we want to save. So you go up to File, click Save As, and your save screen will come up. With me, I keep all my photos on my desktop. I make up an individual folder for the year, 2014. In that folder, I put the months, 1 January. I start with the number so that it stays in sequence. I open that, and save the photo. Click yes when it asks for requirements because of the photo that it is and you're done. That's it. Good luck with your photos and I hope you enjoy them.